Hello, Interior Alaska. Joe Cook. Joe Cook back in the sports seat for this evening, bringing you some Thursday sports going into the last weekend of the regular season against Kenai River at the Dipper. The Ice Dogs have done just what any team would want. Fairbanks won their division title and the all-important NHL regular season title with a 43-14-1 record, the most wins they've had since 2011 when they won the Robertson Cup. They'll have home ice throughout the playoffs with the new NHL. HL playoff format. The Dogs also won the Era Cup over interstate rival Kenai River in the first half of the season, but the Brown Bears are fighting for the playoffs. Kenai is a point out of third place and has a two point lead over Cooley Region for that last playoff spot, so they can't afford to lose. Fairbanks is looking to build momentum going into the postseason, but Kenai has been an annoying little brother, if you will. The Ice Dogs are 8-2 in their last 10 games. Those two losses were to Kenai, who won the last meeting 4-2. The teams are too familiar with each other. Head coach Jeff Beauparlant was an Ice Dogs assistant last year. Both teams traded defensemen with Ben Campbell going to Kenai and Jake Bushy coming over to Fairbanks. Colton Walter's twin brother Jacob is a brown bear as well. Head coach Trevor Stewart hopes his team plays with an edge against a team that will be playing for something. Uh, they have a heightened sense of urgency. We found out last week that they're a tough team to play against. We, we kind of knew that, but that kind of reinforced what we had already known. So I'm sure this weekend should be a good competitive hockey games. I mean, it's definitely something that we uh, anticipated doing and we worked hard to do it. And uh, it's huge going into playoffs, giving us that home ice advantage throughout as far as we make it through playoffs. Uh, it's been a grind. Uh, it's, it's a tough season to play in, but uh, adding on Kenai, I think that's one of the best notes you can end it on is a good rivalry. It feels like everybody has more to give, uh, so like we're not done. We uh, we want to rob a cup, and you know, we're going to start with playing Kenai this weekend. Nothing new there. We know the team, and we know what we're going to do, and at the end, it's just going to come down to hard work. Now we have a little update on some former Nanook skaters. Andy Toronto scored two goals in the Alaska Aces last game. The 4-2 come from behind victory. Toronto recorded his third multi-point game of the year for the Aces over the Bakersfield Condor. That win makes them 5-0-1 in six games, and they're 3-0-1 their last four. The Aces have the best winning percentage in the ECHL at 69%. Toronto has 11 goals and six helpers this year for the Aces. The more recent nooks like Colton Beck and Cody Kunick are finding their way professionally. Beck joined the St. John's Ice Caps for the AHL during their road trip, and he has appeared in a game, and he has a shot on goal. Cody Kunick has been learning a lot so far as part of the Tampa Bay Lightning. In an article by the Tampa Bay Times, teammates Alex Killorn and Steven Stamkos have noticed the WCHA Player of the Year is keeping up and hasn't messed up any drills as of late. And former UAF goalie Chad Johnson is on a roll for the Boston Bruins. He's won, his, he's won five starts, his last five starts. He's 10-0-1, his last 11. Johnson has a 2-0 shutout. Shout out the Avalanche on the 21st. The Bruins are number one in the Eastern Conference. Johnson is 16-3 so, and one so far for the playoff-bound Bruins. And the West Valley Wolfpack boys soccer team, they're getting some action early in the spring to get a head start on the soccer season. The Wolfpack took on the Wasilla Warriors today at the Dome in Anchorage. West Valley won their 2014 season opener today with a 2-0 shutout victory over the Warriors. Junior Braden DeWeese provided the offense with two first-half goals in the 32nd and 35th minute for the pack. Norm Norman Walkwell and Harry Simpson had the assist. First-year player senior Keegan O'Brien got a shutout in his first game with the Pack as a goalie with eight saves. Next, West Valley will play the Colony Knights, who were the 2013 state runner-up tomorrow at noon to wrap up their early season non-conference road trip. So some early soccer action. A last note, if you want to volunteer for this weekend's So Not Kazoot this weekend, go to Webster11.com sports page for a direct link to the volunteer form. The 27th annual Kazoot is scheduled to start this Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. for the 50K Classic Mass start on the Chena River by the Centennial Bridge downtown. It's been a little warm, so the backup location is Birch Hill with races starting at 10.30 a.m. on Saturday there. The Chena River is ruled unsafe. So to volunteer again, just go to Webster11.com. And that'll do it for sports tonight. Thanks for rocking with me for a little while. For more KTF Sports, go to Twitter, YouTube, and get our app. You can also visit our website, Webster11.com. Mike Schultz is next with your full weather forecast, and we'll catch you next time.